Okay, everyone. Uh, welcome back. We, as promised, uh, we are going to follow through and do a little um, example of dehydrating corn so that we can feed the squirrels and or the birds. Um, now, one of the things in our yard, um, our, our garden, where we grow our food and um, things that we want to kind of contribute to our family and our community in our backyard, but one of the things that we like to do is we like to feed our squirrels and our birds in our front yard. It draws them away from the garden. Not that we can do it 100%, but um, in general, it, it keeps them um, away from the areas that they might otherwise be attracted to. Um, <clears throat> we got a big surprise when we went to the grocery store. 12 for a dollar ears of corn. We have plenty in our freezers. We stocked up um, during the summer when corn is usually pretty abundant. But for some reason, um, somebody somewhere had some corn stocked and now all of a sudden it's 12 for a dollar at our local grocery the, store. Uh, the farmers, just to plug in to that, we had rain this late summer and fall, so the farmers actually did really good. So maybe there was a growth yeah. that like, we, I wasn't we're, aware of. We're or... surrounded by a bunch of farmers, hundreds and hundreds of acres of corn, and they did good. Yeah. So and the corn looks great, um, so we're going to be shucking um, these. Um, to what we're going to be doing is we're going to be dehydrating the corn. Um, that way again, and, and of course you don't have to put spice, other things like that. I mean, in fact, we don't want to do that. We don't want to put like you know, Cajun pepper, whatever. That's the stuff that we try to keep squirrels away from because when they eat the hot pepper stuff, you know, it makes them run away. Um, so on like that. But um, the oven um, just set on 150 degrees. Now, luckily enough, we have a dehydration setting already on ours. If you don't, don't worry, just keep it at a really low temp, the 150. Um, and um, it, of course, it'll, it'll take several hours for this to dehydrate. Um, don't you know, I mean don't worry about that but again make it a project make it something that you're going to be kind of doing over the day um, we're going to try this in a couple of ways when we open the oven Michael had suggested that we just use our oven rack um, as a way to um, you know dehydrate the corn we want the full um, flow and so on like that but I've also seen other people kind of do it um, this way and so we're going to put this on the bottom that way again if there's any juice that maybe drips from the ones that we're just going to put on the rack and hopefully catch that um, but we're going to make some squirrel corn we're shucking so guys um you're probably asking well why don't you grow your own corn we, we don't have enough room okay um we've grown in the past we've you know we have four foot by 60 foot rows i planted half of that we did get some decent corn but if you get one cob or two cobs on one stalk then what a blessing but it just takes up too much space guys and when, when you can buy it in the store for like especially when it's really really in season for like 20 for a dollar why would we what, why take up space that's exactly what i'm what i was kind of communicating about so we don't grow corn uh, we could, if we wanted to, maybe grow some specialty Indian corn or something like that. We'll do a little bit, but we're just it's just not worth the space and the time in the garden for us to grow it. So, just now, a little... I'm kind of picky. I like to try and get all the silk off, but, I mean, remember, we're feeding this to the squirrels, so if there's a little silk, no big deal. But um, we do try... I, I like to try to get it all off. We, uh, we started feeding... How long ago was it? A few years? For... Yeah for our granddaughter and we have a, um, a one-way film on our window over here out to the front yard and it does, we can look out the window and not scare the birds because they can't see us and we've actually been we have a journal book uh, so it's been kind of a hobby that we started for our grandkids but now we're enjoying it so we've identified a lot of species it's fun to feed the wildlife uh, not only for the grandkids, but for us. <laughs> okay, squirrel corn. Um, boy, did it turn into a project. As we mentioned, it was kind of one of those things where you're going to want to set aside some time and uh, things like that. This one turned into about a 12-hour project, um, including cool-down time. Um, and we did the dehydration in our oven because we don't have a dehydrator. Um, here's what it came out to be dehydrated corn um, <laughs> there's a little bit of moisture still left um, but I'm really kind of unimpressed at how dried up I guess the corn kernels got it's nothing like you see like in the ones 
manufactured. I'm really questioning if maybe if we had like one of those countertop dehydrators, which we just don't have, um, if it could have turned out any differently. I'd love to hear anybody else that maybe has done like squirrel corn projects or something like that. Um, I mean, is there something different that keeps the, the kernels much more puffed up and dried? And um, we went that long because I was afraid that too much moisture in there would maybe create like mold or something. Um, yet it's like too dehydrated in my opinion. Um, either way, the squirrels and birds are going to enjoy these. Um, I'm probably going to do my project of rolling it in peanut butter and then putting a little seed on it, let it be extra bird feeders, things like that. But yeah, we're, uh, we're questioning if a dehydrator would be worth um, kind of putting some investment in or, or getting the opportunity to try out. Hope you enjoyed it. Go feed the squirrels, distract them from your garden. See you next time. Real quick guys, sorry we haven't been doing a lot of filming in the garden. Um, the garden looks great. I'm working now, um, which is great. Um, we, we're going to be off for the holidays, so I will do a December garden update. Yeah. Okay, you want to go great. put one of these, um, show them yeah, where we put them in the yard? Squirrels. Okay. Okay, squirrel distraction, ready to go. Yeah, keep, keep them in the front and out of the back where the garden is. Alright, see y'all later.